Hey everyone, welcome to Divine Conversations and welcome to your readings for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. Right off the bat, I want to go ahead and give a big old shout out to my Libras out there. We are officially in Libra season here in Western astrology. So ha very, very happy birthday to the Libras out there. I also want to go in and slip in a little uh, early little happy birthday to the uh, October Scorpios. Yes, happy birthday to you guys. We will be entering your season next. So please keep in mind that these are general readings. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. Also keep in mind that because these are general readings, the situations can go either or, okay? It can go either way. Now, I am specifically speaking to the zodiac sign in question, so mostly the message is going to be for them. But if you are cross-watcher, say, for example, or you are what you are you do have the sign that the, that is in question in the reading that you're watching and yet the story that i'm telling is flipped is vice versa then go ahead and flip it for yourself okay place it as it fits into your life but please be very careful not to place things or try and force things that don't fit into your story or your situation into the into positions because that's just going to confuse you and throw you off okay so another thing that i want to mention um uh, oh, first, actually, what I want to mention is I'm doing a little bit something a little bit differently this month. Um, I had been using the Sacred Rebels Oracle for a few months, which was doing great. But because we're now in fall and it's October, I wanted to change it up a little bit. Um, and I got the brilliant inspiration to use the Fairy Forest Oracle deck this month. And I'm really super excited for you guys to see what comes out. Because in some of these readings, they're all pre-recorded um, before I record this this intro but uh for some of these readings the oracle guidance that comes out from this deck is so spot on it's a little scary <laughs> okay um also the other thing that i want to mention especially for those of you that are new if you are new to the channel what's up thank you so much for tuning in welcome to the family but here at divine conversations we do not focus on love yes sometimes love will come out uh if necessary and I, and in no way am I trying to stop that from happening. But the general focus or the main focus here on Divine Conversations is to focus on bringing yourself into a sense of union with yourself, bringing to yourself into a sense of wholeness with yourself, and also just having a conversation with spirit, all right? So what's coming through in these messages for the monthlies, even for the dailies, if you check out Morning Coffee, the messages that come through are just a conversation. What does spirit have for you at that time what does spirit want you to know for that time period or that cycle in your life that you're going through all right with that said keep in mind that all of these readings are timeless yes so just because this is dated for the month of october it doesn't mean it has to resonate for you in october you could come across this reading in february of 2020 and beyond and it may still resonate for you okay time is an illusion and energies are fluid all right so just take it as it resonates if it resonates for you at that time then take it if it doesn't don't worry about it come back later maybe it will all right, guys. <sighs> so with that said, I think let's just get straight to it. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, Gemini. Welcome to your reading for October 2019. Thank you so much for tuning in. So let's get into this. So the first card that came flying out in your pre-shuffle here is the four of cups. And I'm like, what? What is this? I'm hearing an unrequited love relationship. Okay. Uh, but also, I'm getting a sense of a missed opportunity. And then the five of, uh, five of Wands came out, and now it's like, ooh, did you miss an opportunity with someone because of the input of others, because of the opinions of others, Gemini? Huh. Then you got the star. And something tells me, or what I want to say is, something is going to either lead you back to this person or something new is going to come about. I just, uh, uh, the, the beauty of this, uh, also the star is um, wish fulfillment. It's also faith. But the beauty of this is that I f it's just, whatever this circumstance is for you, Gemini, it's leading you towards the 10 of cups or it's helping you define, or redefine what the 10 of cups represents for you. What your ultimate sense of wish fulfillment, no, well, yes, wish fulfillment, um, but emotional fulfillment is for you or means for you. I, I feel like you missed out on something somehow, but and yet 
you haven't really missed out because now you have a better un or you either have a better understanding or you have the ability to to to, to cultivate a better understanding of what it is is the ten of cups for you here I'm wondering I'm sitting here feeling through this energy and I'm wondering if a relationship has ended. Something that you thought may have been a Ten of Cups energy, turns out it really wasn't. So that would make it somewhat of a missed opportunity. There's conflict here. You might be at conflict with yourself right now thinking, what the hell? I thought this was my Ten of Cups. What the fuck just happened? But ultimately, it might be, it could be leading you towards the Ten of Cups. I, I feel like you're needing to have a little more faith here. I feel like you're really frustrated about this. Because it seemed good on the surface, but then once you guys got into it, it was like, no, this, ugh, no. Why isn't this working? Have faith. Have faith, Gemini. It's something, either something better is going to come around, something is going to turn around for you, or maybe you'll realize something later on once you're ready to perceive it. I'm not sure. But either way... Yeah, I just heard blessing in disguise. This might actually have, whatever this circumstance is for you, Gemini, this actually might be a blessing in disguise. And think about it this way. If there were people that got in the way, well, this is a blessing in disguise in the fact that you learn not to, well, you have the potential or the chance to learn not to let anybody do that again, don't you? Hmm. It's not the end all be all. It's not uh, all is not lost. There are plenty of fish in the sea. These are all kinds of things that I want to say in, in terms of this. I don't know. Take what resonates. But and I keep hearing unrequited love situation. Three of wands. You're on your right path. So I do feel like whatever you experienced here is, in fact, helping you redefine what it is you want out of a relationship or what it is you want out of any your, a life circumstance, whatever. It doesn't have to be about love. Also, ooh, okay, keep in mind, there is that saying that, that, that goes, uh, rejection is God's protection, okay? So think, you might want to, some of you might want to think about it that way. Ooh, looky here. Judgment just flew out of the deck. Okay, Gemini, so I'm seeing the King of Wands as you. Um, and I'm seeing judgment here. Whatever happened in terms of this situation, the universe kind of interjected to try and get you to wake up, to let go of something, some way of being, some source of reality, uh, some, some form of reality, some sort of source of, of satisfaction, um, something that your ego might have been all wrapped up in but wasn't really authentic to you. I'm getting an energy of thinking with your lower brain, with the King of Wands, if we're talking to a man. <laughs> um, if we're not talking to a man, then it's just something that was egoic in nature. Sh purely egoic in nature was an egoic desire and that could really be why it didn't work out the way you wanted it to. Hello! the way your ego wanted it to. All right, I keep hearing unrequited love relationship. The feelings weren't mutual, the love wasn't mutual. The uh, life trajectory was not mutual. Maybe someone baited and switched you. Maybe someone told you they wanted to go in a certain direction, but turns out they actually didn't want to. And then once you got into it, now you're like, well, wait a second, I thought you were going with me with this. And then they're like, mm, yeah, I changed my mind. Or, mm, yeah, I wasn't really into that. It could have been a situation in which someone told you, bait and switch, someone told you they wanted to, they they, they hold, held some sort of value or, 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 or whatever with you and come to find out that they actually really didn't. They just told you that to, I don't know, get you in their bed or some shit like that. I don't know. I mean, that does sound like a, a King of Wands move. Yeah. Icky. All right, Gemini. Uh, this could be you or this could be someone else or it could be you. Take it as it resonates. Last shuffle. 
Okay. Let's get into the rest of your reading here for the month of October, Jemmy Gem. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for all Geminis, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for the month of October 2019. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, we're going to give this five shuffles, and then we'll see what we've got for you for my Geminis for the month of October. This is one, two, for my Geminis, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Gemini, three, Gemini, Gemini, <laughs> four, And five. Last shuffle here, kids. And we'll see what we've got. All right. Boop. All right, Gemini. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I had to recollect myself. Overall energy, Gemini. Okay. All right, the Ace of Pentacles, a new start, a new beginning, a new commitment, a new opportunity, a new offer, a new job, a new career, I don't know, could be anything. Ace of Pentacles, under oh yes, the Ace of Swords is underneath that. All right, so this is a new understanding that is leading to a new beginning. Beautiful. Underneath the Ace of Swords, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, okay, very good, and underneath that, you have the Eight of Wands, excellent. Clear understanding is what I'm getting from the Eight of Wands. Uh, maybe even clear and concise communication, especially with the Ace of Swords. Um, fast moving energy, and yet you have the Knight of Pentacles, which is the slowest moving knight in the deck. You might want to take this slowly. You might want to take this piece by piece, especially if this is something that is very, very new to you. A new reality, a new job, a new mindset, a new process a new way of approaching something you might want to take it slowly but surely just so that you can really understand how the pieces flow together how the elements flow together there's also something that may come in very quickly for you that you're going to want to take your time to work with okay all right let's get into the rest of your reading here first half second half of your reading you can look at this as the first half second half of your month Take it as it resonates. First set of surrounding energies for you in the first half of your reading, Gemini, you have, okay, the hanged man, change in perspective, I like this. And that's totally what I was picking up on in the pre-shuffle, a change in perspective. All right, and this is on a spiritual level, this is on a very deep, internal, personal level. All right, and that is also, the Ace of Swords is, is kind of, corroborating that and saying, you know, the Ace of Swords is like an epiphany, an, un an understanding, an aha moment. It's that light bulb moment, right? Illumination comes to you and now you can get out of some sort of stuck and stagnant situation or you can change your perspective, change your approach, which ultimately changes what you manifest, okay? The Hanged Man is coupled with the Six of Cups. Change your perspective on a soulmate. Change what maybe it is you want on a soulmate. Maybe change, also the biggest thing that I'm getting with this, Gemini, is a change in a perspective uh, uh, or a belief system or maybe even a, a, a habit that was formed, developed, or assimilated as a child. I heard specifically early childhood. Change in perspective on something that happened in the past something from the past, that kind of energy, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini, in the first half of your reading, you have King of Pentacles now. Interesting. I do feel like this is you, well manifested. It also could be a father figure. 
grounded, manifested, well materially um, sorted. I heard I'm hearing sought after for your finances, for your your skill, for your established presence, your established way of being. Interesting. King of Pentacles is coupled with the Two of Swords, though. Oh, I get it. I get it, Gemini. Um, you are facing a change in perspective here. Yes. However, how to move forward with that is a little bit of a struggle right now. Okay. Especially if this change in perspective has something to do with something that you learned very early on in life. The King of Pentacles represents Taurus energy. It also represents fixed energy. Fixed energies can be very stubborn, very rigid, almost damn near impossible to move. And that's kind of what I'm picking up here. It's like this belief system or this thought pattern or this habit or this way of being is so deeply ingrained that it's going to be very hard for you to change it. But it feels like right now you're in the process of mentally bringing yourself to a place where you're okay with needing to make that change. I don't feel like you're making the change yet, obviously. I feel like you have reached the energy of knowing you need to make some sort of change, the epiphany with the Ace of Swords, and yet now you're going from the Ace to the Two. Oh, oh God, I don't know if I want to do it. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's just, it's been, it's been a cornerstone of my life for so long, I just don't think I can do this. Okay. But you can. You wouldn't be faced with this if you couldn't. I feel like this is an unwillingness or this is almost a refusal to change something. Your challenge in the first half of your reading here, Gemini. Eight of Pentacles. It's going to take some work, man. I'm my dude. Look at look, Holmes, girl. It's going to take some work. You have momentum built moving in a certain direction. You can't just stop that momentum at the snap of a finger. You got to slowly work your way down. You got to start where you are with the current momentum and slowly put on the brakes so that you're slowly but surely over time yeah, slowing down that momentum where finally it's slow enough where now you can start to change the direction, change the trajectory. Yes, it's going to take some work. But you have to be willing to put in that work. The Eight of Pentacles is is hard work, is um, putting the pedal to the metal, the nose, to, the, 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 the the axe to the to the an, the, an, the anvil, right? The the hammer to the anvil. I mean, you got to do the physical labor. The Eight of Pentacles is all about physical labor. And if it's not necessarily physical labor, it's Mental work. I mean, it's work. Okay? It's not going to be easy. But Gemini, it's not meant to be easy. Eight of Pentacles is coupled with the Ten of Swords, Gemini. It's time to lay this to rest. It's time to stop beating the dead horse here, Gem, and put the work in to really complete this cycle, to close out this cycle, because this hasn't been... This has been nothing but painful for you, Jem. And you may have been masking that pain, sure. And you may have been really good, gotten really good at masking that pain. You may have gotten so good at that at masking that pain that you were fooling yourself. Until all of a sudden that epiphany hits you. And now maybe all that pain has come come roaring back and it's like staring you right in the face. Like, <laughs> you think you could have sweep me under the rug forever? Mm. Closing message or potential outcome here, Gemini, in the first half of your reading. You got the nine of pentacles. Booyah. This is good. 
Now, this is, okay, all right, okay, calm down. Yes, it is the card of being single. But maybe single is what you need to be. Because it looks like you've got some, some momentum you got to work on. And ain't there is no way in hell you're going to be able to change this momentum, to change this trajectory when you've got the same old people in your life feeding into that momentum. It's, it's just not going to happen. It's literally impossible. How can you stop momentum when you're continuing to feed it with the same old circumstances, the same old shit, right? I'm also getting an energy of being a free thinker here with the nine of pentacles, being completely independent and autonomous, doing what it is that makes you happy. Okay, nine of pentacles is coupled with. <sighs> Five of Swords. There may be some people that want to tear you down for striking off on your own, striking out on your own. I'm also getting a little bit of a self-defeating energy self-sabotaging energy by not taking this time to yourself, by not striking out on your own, by not being an independent person, by not being a free thinker, by not being your own individual, by not making choices for yourself. I feel like some of you are sabotaging yourself by refusing to step out of your comfort zone or by refusing to step out of the social norm. But I fit in here. So what? Are you happy? No, not really. Then where's your argument? <laughs> second set. <laughs> I mean, second half of your reading here. Let's get into the second half of your reading here. First set of surrounding energies in the second half of your reading here, Gemini. You got to. Okay. Nine of swords. Yeah, I get it. Anxiety, fear, worry, but I just heard trust. Gemini, if you're finding yourself in this position, you're finding yourself in this position for a reason. And you need to trust that. The universe is not going to let you off the hook. Let me say that again. The universe is not going to let you off the hook, Gemini. Nine of Swords is coupled with. The universe is not going to let yourself off the hook because you need to go, you need to face yourself. It's not the hermit, it's the page of wands, but you still need to face yourself. Self-discovery. Now, I can see that, we can say that this is a stepping stone to the real element of facing yourself, which would be the hermit. But you gotta start out small. You gotta start out slow. Just like with that momentum analogy, you're not going to be able to stop something that's going full speed. You got to slowly work it down, 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 down until the speed is at a manageable, until it's at a manageable speed or it's stopped altogether. And then you can change the momentum or change the trajectory, change the direction you're moving in. Facing yourself is giving you some serious anxiety, huh? Don't worry, it's all part of the process, Gemini. This is a good thing. I promise you, the universe promises, promises you, this is a good thing. But you're sabotaging yourself by fearing it, okay? Second set of surrounding energies for you, Gemini. In the second half of your reading, you have, oh, the Five of Pentacles. Good golly, Gemini. This is some really tough energy. I get it. But this is the, the source of a lot of the pain you're feeling. Feelings of inadequacy. And I do feel like the, a big part of why you are resisting facing yourself is because the self that you see when you face yourself in your eyes is inadequate. And that is so far from the truth, Gemini. That is the furthest from the truth. You are adequate just as you are. 
You don't need to be anyone else but the person you were born to be. But in order to do that, you are going to have to remove the conditioning of the people that have influenced you in the beginning. Whether that's individual, certain individuals or whether that's society as a whole. Okay? Five of Pentacles is coupled with the Knight of Swords. Ooh, now this is your card. Well, one of your cards officially. I see either the Page or the Knight of Swords as you. Also, the Lovers represents you. But, as a Gemini. But, this is an energy of fighting back. Fighting those demons that tell you you're not enough. Fighting those demons that say you're not inadequate or you'll never be enough or you'll never have enough or you'll never be accepted. And quite frankly, Ge Gemini, so what if the people don't accept you? The people that don't accept you, the people that refuse to accept you, really are not people you need to be spending time with anyway. They're probably narcissistic. They're obviously heavily, heavily conditional. And they're probably energetic vampires. They want you to fit their mold just so that they can be happy, so that they can feel better about themselves. Also, so that they have a source of energy that they can siphon from. Don't give that to them anymore. It's not your responsibility to feed others. It's not your, unless you have children or you, you're taking care of a child, a parent, or something, you get what I'm saying. It is not your responsibility to make others feel good by doing what it is they want you to do. Hell to the motherfucking no, Jem. Hell no. That is not your responsibility. And shame on them for putting you through that. But hey, you know what? That's a pretty that's pretty typical in today's society. So all right, we're all working on getting breaking free from that, but no, Jem, that is not your responsibility. Stop trying to shape yourself, stop trying to mold yourself to to to, to please others when they won't even do the same for you. When you're not when you're when you're left feeling depleted and trampled over and uh, 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 even more of a vile human being that you think you are. You're not. But the more you give into this energy, the more you feed that. It's time for you to rise above. It's time for you to get out of that shit, man. <laughs> okay? Your challenge in the second half of your reading here, Gemini. Two of Pentacles. Okay, I can't really tell what this is, Gemini. Is this you bringing balance into your life or is you just keeping up appearance? I kind of feel like it's you keeping up appearance. And I think it's you facing this energy in which you've been just juggling just to just to make ends meet, we'll say, just to 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 to, to balance the scales, to keep the peace. I feel like you've been in this energy for a very very long time. And your challenge now is to break out of it. To clear the way for something new to come forward. Ace of Pentacles. Ace of Swords is that energy of cutting things away. Two of Pentacles is coupled with... Yep! The Eight of Swords. So this is an energy that you've been in for a long time. You felt trapped here and you've, you've just been... You've just been going through the motions, almost even being on autopilot because you felt a sense of being, in, it being trapped, but you've been in it for the longest time and you may have kind of even become complacent with it. And so the Two of Pentacles is that autopilot energy that has just been helping you keep the peace or stay afloat even though you've been, in, been trapped this whole time. Well, your challenge is to break free. The responsibility is yours, Gemini. But think about how rewarding it's going to be when you finally do break free. <coughs> and free yourself to be the awesome person that you were always meant to be under your own circumstances. How about them apples? <laughs> Closing message or potential outcome in your second half of your reading here, Gemini, you have. Hallelujah. The Nine of Cups. I know that's right. 
satisfaction, relief. Feeling good about yourself again is what I just heard. It's gonna take some work, but you are worth it and you are capable of it. Nine of Cups is coupled with, okay, the Nine of Wands. I told you it's gonna take some work. Perseverance is key. If you want to be, feel good about yourself again, then you have to put forth the effort. And you are so capable of doing it. But also, you know what the Nine of Wands is saying to me? You deserve to feel ha to be happy. I mean, I mean it, being happy is your birthright. But what I'm saying here is, with all the shit that you've been through, Gemini, up until now, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel complete. You deserve to feel satisfied. But ain't nobody gonna do this for you. <laughs> And if you're still in some sort of energy of thinking that somebody else is going to do that for you, I am so sorry, honey, but you are sorely mistaken. An ending is in sight, Gemini. An ending is in sight. Let's close out your reading with your oracle guidance here. Last shuffle for my Gemini's Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the month of October 2019. Let's see what we've got for you, Gemini. Closing message, please, Spirit, for my Gemini's for the month of October 2019. Woo! There it is. Ooh. Jeez. I mean, this deck has been blowing it out of the water this month. Like, wow. Card number 26, the merciful one. Compassion. Release, relief. Mm, mm, mm. I know that's right. <laughs> the merciful one. This is a time to hold on and to endure. And there is a time to, op I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Let me say that again. There is a time, there is a time to hold on and to endure. And there is a time to open your hands and let the soul fly free. You may be remembering that death is a sacred right and be learning about the nature of the physical transition that is taking place. Death is a huge taboo in modern culture, yet it is a path that is sacred and walked by all of us fortunate enough to have lived. So the merciful one comes forward with love, respect, and compassion to ask you to hold the space for those who are departing and allow yourself to let go either of your own self or of another being who is readying themselves to return to the other world. This is the card of deep sacred change from one stage to another, from one form to another, but most truly at its heart, it is the card of letting go and the great mercy that is that this letting go brings to those of us in pain and unable to stay as we are. The merciful one lifts pain, makes passing easy, ensures we are surrounded by loved ones and respects the great moment that it is, that this is. Know now that a death of a kind is coming and the merciful one wishes, to, wishes the letting go to be dignified and sacred. So let go and let an ending continue with beauty, dignity, and mercy. Holy shit. So there you have it, Gemini. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. Again, if you would like a look into your own personal situation, please don't hesitate to email me. All of the information is in the description box below. With that said, I hope you guys have a great month, and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading for the month of November. Yes, take care. Mwah. Bye.